ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Tony G from GuitarWithTonyG.com here. Today I'm going to show you three simple tricks to overcome your stage fright. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you about my ritual that I do before I hop on stage. Let's jump right into it. First and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, if you like these videos, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell too so that you get notifications whenever I post a new video. So, having stage fright is a completely, completely natural emotion for many musicians. I remember the first time that I ever got on stage, I think I was shaking so bad that it was so hard for me to actually get up there and play. And I just had this knot in my stomach before the performance for like 25 minutes. And it didn't even go away until after I had played, maybe another half an hour. I was just so nervous, and then the adrenaline rush hits you, and you're just this mix of emotions but it's totally okay. But today I wanna to show you some simple tips that are really gonna help you make sure that you're prepared and make sure that you feel ready by the time that you get on stage. Let's go ahead and check out what tip number one is. My first tip for you guys is to record the songs that you're gonna be playing on stage. It might seem a little silly and it might not seem like the same thing, but when you put that phone out or that old school tape deck or whatever you're gonna to use to record your songs, it really puts the pressure on because you wanna play it perfectly, just like you do on stage. So when you record yourself playing something, it's really gonna put that pressure on, it's gonna make you feel like you have to put on your best performance. So I strongly recommend you try that. And in fact, I'm playing a song at a gig tomorrow and I just learned a solo for it. So let's see if I can play it for you right here, right now, perfectly. Let's give it a shot. Okay. It was close. I definitely noticed uh, probably about two or three little mistakes, but that's okay. That means that I've probably got a little bit more practicing to do, but that's all right because that's what it tells me. So I urge you to do the exact same thing. Set that recorder in front of yourself, play the song, and then listen to it and see where you messed up. And then you can isolate those parts, work on them, and throw them all back together. Let's go ahead and move on to step number two. My second tip for you guys is to memorize everything that you're going to be playing. There's nothing worse than having to look at something when you're on stage because it's going to distract you from the actual feel of playing for the audience. And also the audience isn't going to see you playing it. They're just going to see you looking at your papers or your iPad or whatever. Personally, I must admit that I do play with my iPad when I play gigs because there are so many songs that I play over so many hours and I haven't memorized them all. But I promise that if you want to put forth your best performance and really feel comfortable about what you're playing, memorize it. Really get in there, memorize every single little different part, and make sure that it's ready to go. When you're memorizing a song, I totally recommend that you break it down into small chunks. You don't want to just try to blanket memorize the whole entire thing. Learn the intro, then learn the verse, then learn the chorus, then learn the next verse, then go back and maybe do the intro verse, chorus, verse, and then maybe throw in another chorus. So really try to compartmentalize it and memorize everything in your head. I promise you, I promise you, promise you, you will put on such a better performance if you have it memorized and you can really feel it when you play it. When you do that, people are going to be more into it and you're going to be able to sense that energy and even hear them if, when they're clapping and when they're going, oh yeah, it's gonna help you so much on stage. So memorize that song before you get up there. Let's move on to tip number three. Tip number three to getting over your stage fright is to start playing your songs for close friends or family, but in very small numbers. So maybe play for just one person. You could even turn around if you want to. You don't even have to look at them. But just play for one person, then try to play for two people, maybe five people. People that you trust, that you know are going to give you good constructive criticism, or they're going to just say that you did it really well even if you think you sucked. Because to be honest, as musicians, we're really hard on ourselves. We're definitely our own harshest critics. And that's 
basically across the board. So sometimes those small mistakes that we hear, those small flaws and imperfections, those are just going to go straight through somebody else. They're not even going to notice because maybe they're not a musician or because maybe they're just so enthralled with you playing music for them. So don't even worry about that so much. I want you to play for some close friends and family to get a feel for what it's really like when you're going to be playing on stage. Obviously, when you're playing for strangers, it can be a completely different feeling. But again, don't worry about that because a lot of the strangers most likely won't be musicians unless you're playing an open mic. Then just make sure you memorize the songs, record it into a phone first, and play it for some friends. All right, let's jump into some final thoughts here. All right, let's get real here, guys. Playing on stage can be incredibly difficult, and I know the feeling oh so well because the first time I ever jumped on stage with a band, like I mentioned earlier in this video, I was shaking. I was visibly shaking. I could barely even hold my guitar, and as soon as that drum beat came in, it was like, well, time to shit or get off the pot. <laughs> Basically, once you're up on stage, you have to realize that you're in it. You can't go anywhere. You can't just jump off stage and run away. The song has started. You've got to play. Once you get into that element, I really feel like you're going to be able to help control it. Your nerves are still going to be going crazy, but that's totally fine. That is so, so normal. Any human being in a situation like that is going to feel a lot like that. So. Come up with your own ritual beforehand. Maybe there's something that you do that calms you down. Maybe listening to some music helps you out. Maybe you go get a beer at the bar. Or maybe you have a little meditation that you're going to do in your car beforehand to relieve your anxiety. Once you've played about 50 gigs, then you will definitely start to feel a lot more comfortable. That's about how many it took me. And now I've probably played, I honestly want to say, over 1,000 gigs. I've played anything and everything in between, and now I live for the thrill. Now I don't get the nerves anymore. Now I get anxious. I just want to jump up on stage because once I'm on stage, I get that adrenaline rush. I feel so powerful. I just have so much fun. When I was playing a few years ago, I was playing, I don't know, five, six gigs a week, and now I only play about one gig every two weeks, and I yearn for them. I'm like waiting for them because I need my fix, if you will. So don't worry about it. The first several gigs are going to be pretty scary and you're going to be very nervous, but afterwards you're going to feel so good. You're going to feel really great and it's going to make you want to keep on playing more and more and more, learn more and more songs, write more and more songs. It's really, for me, a spiritual experience. So don't be afraid if you're feeling afraid. It's totally natural. Just push right through it and I promise you, once you get off that stage, you're gonna feel like a champion. All right, guys, I'll see you there. Okay, okay, I did promise you I was gonna tell you what my ritual is before I play a show. My ritual, my buddy and I, we call it our PPP. It stands for our pre-performance potty because when I'm about to play a show, even now, I don't get nervous anymore, but I get so anxious that my stomach just really knots up. And so I have to run to the bathroom like right before we play. And that happens almost every time. So basically, we'll be up on everybody will be up on stage, and they'll be like, "Where's Tony?" And they're like, "Oh, he's doing his PPP." And then I'll run back from the bathroom really quick, and I just strap on, boom, we rock and roll. And at the end of the show is just the best feeling in the world. Every time, every single time I play a show, it's just the absolute best. All right, I hope you guys have found some great tips in this, and I hope that it really helps prepare you for your next gig. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Be sure to leave a like. Please hit that subscribe button and get the notifications so you know when I post new videos. And check out my website for other great free lessons just like this, guitarwithtonyg.com. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you there.